Behold, it's Natalia. Time to talk about Bigfoot. I was already planning on doing a series on the greatest hide-and-go-seek champion in the world. But then I saw this. So I'm making this. This dude is Coyote Peterson. He is a self-proclaimed animal expert. He is now claiming that he has found a new primate in the Pacific Northwest. And the government's keeping it a secret. <laughs> He's alluding that it's Bigfoot. This after saying the skull looked like a bear. This is what a bear skull looks like. That is not a bear. As a primatologist, somebody who studies monkeys and apes, I can take one look at that skull and tell you that is a Western lowland male gorilla. Also my former TA. I miss you, Kevin. Fun side note, that big crest at the top of their skull, it's called a sagittal crest. Gorillas have it because they eat a very fibrous, vegetarian diet. A skull like that would not support the Bigfoot is a big hunter hypothesis. Just an FYI. So what does all this mean? One, Coyote Peterson randomly stumbled upon a gorilla skull in the Pacific Northwest and didn't even try to compare it to other non-human primates. That would make him not a very good animal expert. Or two, Mr. Peterson was feeling plucky and placed that skull and discovered it for clout thus fooling the masses. That would make him a pretty lousy educator. Not cool, dude. And he could be doing a grave disservice to primate conservation. Why? Oh, uh, where did he get the gorilla skull? It better be a replica like Kevin, because the trade of great ape body parts like skulls and hands has wreaked havoc on conservation efforts in Central and West Africa. So this hoax is not only ridiculous, it's potentially dangerous. Nobody mess with that gorilla. Oh, and Coyote Peterson was not that original. Next, we'll talk about the piddle down hoax in jolly old England. And many other Bigfoot hoaxes. Follow for more on the big guy. Poor gal.